There are many plants that we can grow in hanging baskets, but not all of them look that attractive. Many of them don't trail down, don't look much fuller like the one you are able to see. Plus, many of them start to dry at the base till they trail down. For example, purple turtle vine. The plant which attracted me a lot is baby stairs and I hope you are loving the way the plant is growing. Main advantages of baby stairs are, it's a low maintenance plant. Of course, for this you need to follow my tips. Number two, grow quite fast. On third, doesn't need direct sunlight. And finally, just perfect plant for hanging basket. So how to grow and care for baby stairs the right way? Let's start everything from the very beginning. I bought a life plan from nurserylife.com and it was quite long time back. Felt happy as the plant was looking decent one and after all it was alive. Not all time it happens and many times we get dead plants while ordering online. I am not trying to blame the sellers. Many times plants actually die during the transit time. After getting the plant somehow I neglected it for few months which is really bad, I know it. I just kept the plant on the top of a 18 spot and within few months it was looking like this. Though there was beet soil in the 18 spot, the plant did not produce any roots. Maybe because it was too deep and light was unable to reach that part. My plant is really struggling and that's why so let's report it immediately. Every steps are important, so please don't skip anything and you are also going to see the complete updates. Step number one, use a very good and well drained potting soil mix. For this I took 50% cocoa peat, 25% perlite and rest 25% vermicompost. Wanted to make the hanging pot very light and that's why I did not use any normal garden soil. Step number two, using a pot where depth is around 4 inches and it's around 8 inches wider. Enough for a single plant or in fact you can also use somewhat smaller pot. Please don't think about too much drainage holes at the bottom. Having one drainage hole is more than enough. You can see many holes in my pot as in the previous year I have used the same pot to do something like this. Step number 3. This is optional but it saves lots of time. I am going to use Bascote. It's a slow release fertilizer and we don't have to use anything for the next 5 to 6 months. Spread it evenly and please note 1 teaspoon for 1 pot is sufficient. Instead of Bascote you can also use NPK 191919 once in a gap of 25 to 30 days. The dose is half teaspoon in 1 liter water and if possible please try to take even less than half teaspoon. And we can also apply directly in the soil. Both Bascote and NPK 191919 are chemical. In case you want to use only organic, please use seaweed extract once in 15 to 20 days. Those is 5 ml in 1 liter water and all are available on Amazon. Step number 4. This is an update after 45 days. Looking nice, isn't it? Well, there is a problem. The problem is some of the new growths are getting burnt and it happened as it was exposed to the direct sunlight for around 1 hour. From today onwards, I am going to ship the pot to some other place. So please note, no direct sunlight for baby stairs is recommended. They prefer only bright indirect sunlight. 
Let's do a soft pruning and we can obviously do it to make it look much fuller. Step number 5. What about watering? They don't prefer soggy soil at all and ideally we should water only when the top soil is dry. The stems or vine, whatever we call, are very delicate and rot too quickly. As it's summer, I water almost daily. But in winter, I would do once in 3 to 5 days. At any time, if you get any doubt about watering, there is a thing that you can do. Leave the pot to determine its weight. At early stage, you may find it a bit difficult to know the exact requirement, but do it couple of times before watering and after watering. Eventually, you would come to know when to water. I still do it for many of my plants. Step number 6. Did I miss anything? I don't think so, but still, if there is any, please feel free to let me know by commenting below. In case you love growing plants that need only bright indirect sunlight, I think you should grow orchid. Looks difficult, but it's not. Trust me. You can check out my next video and find out the simplest method to grow orchid with updates. Hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy.